It's Friday and it's time to chat. So let me tell you all about my recent socation and give you an update on Project Dress a Girl. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and you all, welcome back. I am so excited to tell you all about this occasion that I recently went on. It was Heather from Textile Tailored Thoughts, who is the most amazing event planner, Michelle from Michelle Sews again, Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room, and Carmen Salome. You all, it was an absolute blast meeting all of these women and just being able to share the same space and chat. I'll tell you what, Heather had this entire event coordinated in a way that was just so absolutely welcoming and fun. I don't know how she was able to do it all, but she did, and she is amazing. I have to admit, some of my best moments were some of the most quiet ones. I really loved sitting in front of the TV and just chatting with the ladies and watching YouTube videos. I mean, we were watching the different Friday Sews videos, we were watching each other's videos, and then, of course, we watched the video that Thoughtful Creativity made, which was actually the Project Dress a Girl A-line dress that she made. And you all, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you all that that video had me in tears because the goal here is to touch as many lives as we can, right? Provide these dresses to little girls who really don't have much of anything. And then educate their families on human trafficking and how to avoid it because these girls are some of the most vulnerable children to human trafficking. And so it's such a good cause. And just knowing that Elisa, and while just seeing her video and the support that she gave, uh, it, it, it was so moving. And, and I'm not going to cry here, so that was my best moment. <laughs> it was really fun watching these videos because all of the ladies were so supportive in cheering them on. So when someone would mention one of the ladies, they're like, yeah! <laughs> or you go, girl! So that, that was a fun time. Another best moment for me was when we decided to go and take pictures at the murals. And we had such a blast. We drove out to Hollywood. Hollywood, Florida. And they had all of these different murals around. My favorite was the Freedom mural that they had. And so we just, we basically just walked the streets and took a bunch of pictures. And since it was early in the morning, there really wasn't many people out at all. So that was definitely a bonus. No cars in the way, no people to compete with. It was such a good bonding moment. It really was. Or something new that I actually learned was um, how to ice dye. Now I'm going to admit, I'm not actually very good at it. <laughs> but Michelle was definitely a really good and patient teacher. Because I knew that we were going to be ice dyeing, I went ahead and I made two little dresses to donate to Dress a Girl Around the World, and then we ice dyed them. Um, so this one is mine, and you can see I've got like some really fun colors in here, and the back is really fun. But let me show you the one that Michelle did. And you all, I'm going to give you a lot more details on this in another video, but... I, I couldn't help but to give you all a sneak peek. Look at Michelle's! Isn't it just the cutest? I don't know if I'll be ice dying on my own because I, I feel like there was a lot that really went into it, but it was really a fun time. Something that I'd change. Well, I actually got in on Friday midday. I had a fly in from Baltimore to Fort Lauderdale and you all, I really felt like I didn't have enough time. I wanted to do all the things, but I was just so exhausted with the travel and everything else that it caught up to me. And at one point I went to bed at 8.30. <sighs> it's so embarrassing. But I was like, I want to stay up, but I can't. So my eyes were crossing. I was like, I, I, I need sleep. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Them ladies just really sucked the juice out of me. <laughs> So now let's talk about Project Dress-A-Girl, because you all, 
I have been seeing some really amazing pictures coming across on Instagram. Some of you all are really talented and these little girls are gonna be so lucky to get your dresses. If you've already made a dress or if you're planning on making one, don't forget to post your pictures on Instagram using the hashtag Project Dress -a Girl. And then tag me at Maddie Sews for Curves. So that way I could just love on your picture, but also include it in the tally. We have a goal of 100 dresses, and I've seen roughly about 50 right now. So I'm confident that we'll be able to get to the goal of 100, maybe even beat it. And then I'm also using those pictures in a final compilation video. So please make sure that you're posting your pictures on Instagram and tagging me so that way I can keep track of the dresses that are being made. There's also some Zoom sewing sessions that's going to go on. And these are basically just group sessions where we're going to sew and chat it's free. All you need is a camera and a microphone on your device. So you could either use your phone or your computer. Join in and chat and sew with us. We'll be making some little girl dresses, any pattern that you choose. And if you have questions, pop up, just put them out there. The first one is going to be tomorrow, September 11th from 11 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then the following ones are Sunday the 19th and the 26th from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you're interested in joining, just shoot me a quick email and let me know and I'll send you a link as long as there's still space in the sessions. It's gonna be such an amazing time. And if you didn't know, in the description box below, you can catch a calendar of all of the different YouTubers who are doing videos, talking about dresses, there's tutorials down there, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you check that out. And especially make sure that you check out Trish over here at Pinky's Farm because she's made really adorable dresses in her favorite color, pink. Don't miss her video, and until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.